Hi everybody, it's me Tara Michelle aka Opinionated Sense. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a repeat offender. Let's go ahead and jump right into my top seven Christmas slash Christmas party holiday party because I don't want to offend anybody fragrances. Number seven on my list is one that I was getting ready to declutter and sell on Macari and I decided to keep it because I don't know why I do this to myself guys I don't. I love the bottle and I also like the fragrance and I'm really trying to give it more of a chance. So I'm going to play with it a little more. This is a lighter version of Alien, the purple bottle with cinnamon in it. I think it is just perfect for your sweet potato pie and a pineapple upside down cake, cheesecake, German chocolate cake, whatever you're having. This is a Christmas feel. So if you're with your family, this is perfect to just sit around the table with the fireplace with everybody in their eggnog. This is just that vibe to me. Um, I think I would prefer this more with family than the holiday party, but it can be pulled off at the holiday party too. Number six is Sea Intense by Armani. Now this is a deeper, darker, more potent, more beast mode version of Armani C. This one is so strong in opening. Mm. But to be honest with you, once the mid is done and it pulls into the base and moves into that base where it's finally going to settle, this is the original um, Eau de Parfum, C. Armani Eau de Parfum. So I love it. But because it's a little more spicy and definitely beast mode, this is going to be an attention grabber at the holiday party. You will stand out amongst the rest and stand out as the best, I think. Um, this is also good for being around the family because, again, it has those spices that you're used to for this type of season. I'm actually going to stick with that theme instead of going against the grain like I did, going against the grain like I did in my Thanksgiving video. <laughs> Mansara's Roses Beneath is a beautiful rose fragrance. It gives off this uh, oody feel to it, even though it doesn't say there's oud in it. It's this note that Mansara does. And in some of their fragrances, it works so beautifully. In others, not so much, but in this one, it is beautiful. This is a nice pungent, and, and I mean that in the best way. This You're going to walk into a room and everybody's going to smell you. This is beast mode. Please don't spray too many sprays. You can really get away with two. Please don't do any more than four, especially if you're going to be in an enclosed space. Lord have mercy. So yes, a beautiful, oody quality type of feel to this rose. The number four spot goes to none other than Alien Essence Absolute Eau de Parfum. Very hard to find, very expensive when you do find it because apparently it's discontinued. But the rumor mill is stating that it might be coming back. So let's hope it's not reformulating into something less than stellar. Okay. This is a spicy vanilla, beautiful spicy vanilla. If you own something like Madonna's Truth or Dare Naked, you're going to be used to the feel and the judge of this. I love this. Oh, man. It also, it's like a powdery alien with loads of vanilla and a little bit of spice. This is exquisite. Love it. The number three spot is none other than Chagaf Oud, which is known as the dupe for Oud Bouquet. This is, oh, if you're trying to get into Oud, man... The oud is strong, but the vanilla is thick and heavy, and I think just pairs well. I do believe that those rolls in here too. I think there's always rolls in oud perfumes. I think it's, it's just a thing, I guess, like a rule or law. I don't know, but tread lightly with this one. I don't think it's a safe blind buy unless you know you love oud. So yeah, but it was worth it. I, I looked up and I liked it. Number two spot is Jasmine Wisp by Razazi. I love this. It's another oud fragrance, but it's light and airy and clean and fresh and sweet. Oh, in such a different way than Chagaf Oud. Both exquisite oud perfumes, but I wore this in the summer and it worked. People were like, oh, you smell so good. And I was scared. Because that, that I was taking a risk with that for sure. But get your hands on this. It was recommended to me by Paulina Shar, And I love it. The number one perfume is 
Angel Muse by Mooglar. Guys, this is Christmas. Come on. Spicy Patchouli Vanilla. This is exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. A top 10 for life for me. It gets better every time I smell it and every time I wear it. So, and this is probably what I'm going to wear on Christmas this year. I adore this fragrance so much. So guys, that's my top seven um, fragrances that you could wear to Christmas or for Christmas or to a holiday party. Let me know what you think. Of course, you know, I love to see you in the comments. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads. And until then, bye.